Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us discuss harmonic analysis based on transformer winding configuration. Let's come back to ETAP software. I hope you remember this SLD. For the last three videos, I use the same SLD. Now for transformer winding configuration, I am going to select uh, the harmonic harmonic library. Okay. So I am going for a customized harmonic library on this particular video just to showcase that what is the impact of this harmonic level to the transformer configuration. Uh, let me go to library, open harmonic. So here you can uh, select any harmonic library, but as I mentioned earlier, I want to create customized library. So go for add, you just create a manufacturer uh, power model you can use uh, triple n harmonics a triple n and uh, tenth order harmonics these are the two uh, things i'm going to create a reference you can say triple n press ok then edit so have a look at this power triple n and 10 it is a current source so first of all i'm going to give fundamental frequency so 50 hertz so automatically here you can see 50 is enabled okay so i want to create only triple n harmonics and 10th order harmonic so straight away we'll go for third order then sixth then here ninth order then addition i'm going for 10th order harmonics okay now you could see this one three six nine and ten there are triple n harmonics and 10th order apart from fundamental you can also give some currents uh, my load current is 227.6 amps uh, i think 277.6 amps so once you entered this automatically order number one is 277 rest of the things you are supposed to create let me give 20 percent 15 10 and this is 5 percent the corresponding magnitude automatically entered here press ok close this and now go to this load harmonic page library select power triple n and this one now you could see the same uh, harmonic orders available now okay now go to harmonic load flow run this harmonic load flow now you could see 4.3 THT of what we are injecting here and uh, at 11 kV side we are getting about 0.129 THT let me showcase this for a third order we have third order harmonics which is injected to this 4.16 kV about uh, this number 1.68 percentage okay. but 
that is not injected to 11 kV. Here we are having 0% RMS, which means third order harmonics available on 4.16, which is not injected towards 11 kV. And so as sixth order and ninth order. And when we go to last one, tenth order, which is available in 4.16 and also at 11 kV side. So the question is why third, six, nine? For the sake of clarity, I have chosen only these three, which is not available at 11 kV bus, but the same is available at 4.16 kV bus. The reason is this load is actually uh, star grounding load and this side that is LV side of transformer is also star grounded load so that uh, that zero sequence current is circulating among this particular uh, area but when you take uh, HV side of this transformer delta which won't allow zero sequence currents towards this 11 kV. That means triple N harmonics 3, 6, 9. All these three belongs to zero sequence. So which is circulating here from this grounding star grounding of transformer to star grounding of the load so that it is shown here in 4.16 kV. Say for example, on a, a ninth, we are having about 2.53 percentage. Uh, when you go for a sixth, again 2.53 percentage. When you go for third, 1.68. So all these things are available, but not on 11 kV. Coming to another one, that is a 10th order harmonic, okay. So 10th order is a positive sequence, positive sequence which will allow towards 11 kV system. So that's the reason why positive sequence, in fact, a 10th order which is available here on 11 kV as well as 4.1 kV, but not triple N harmonics. So when we have a winding configuration of delta star grounded, triple N harmonics not injected towards higher voltage or delta side simply on this particular case. Let me go to another example. I'll copy paste this one. I'll take the same uh, circuit or a single line diagram, whatever maybe. I'll just go for uh, grounding of transformer. Let's make it out solid, solid in both the cases. So now this is a star connected grounding, both on primary as well as secondary side. Now let me run now harmonic load flow. Let us analyze what is the scenario here. All right, I have to plot this uh, harmonics also before running. I'll go to this harmonic plot on the rest of the buses also and this cables too. Right, again I run harmonic load flow. Now uh, you could see that uh, total of 4.65 and 4.3 this is because of transformer winding configuration. Now let me go to fundamental 98.78 no issue with this then third order have a look at this uh, the SLD with on left hand side or the transformer with the delta star configuration delta side 0% THT on a star side we have 1.68 percentage 
whereas in star star configuration both are grounding so both 11 kV as well as 4.16 kV has third order harmonics so that is the reason why I said in case of delta winding it won't allow zero sequence current but here it is star grounded so it will allow zero sequence current towards this 11 kV system thereby it is allowing third order harmonics similarly triple n harmonic 6 whereas in star star connection on 11 kV side we have 0.233 as I mentioned earlier on delta star it is 0 and on ninth order also but 10th order both configuration allows here you could see 0.129 this is also 0.129 percentage for sake of clarity I will go for one more uh, <coughs> configuration here here I'll go for uh, grounding open star just to understand this concept open star I'll just go to harmonic load flow I want to plot uh, further uh, new buses and cables are on harmonic load flow now now you can see that the third case star star uh, let, let me go for uh, fundamental uh, no issue same numbers third order harmonics so it is not allowing even third order harmonics in 4.16 kV. The reason is star connected reason is star connected transformer but not grounded. Though this load is a star connected grounding so it, it is not having any circulation of current path in fact uh, this delta uh, sorry uh, this star is not grounded so there is no path for circulation of current so what obviously happens here zero sequence current is not circulating within this 4.6 that is the reason why even in 4.16 the third harder harmonics is not allowed similarly 6 and 9 because um, these three all these three belongs to zero sequence component then coming to uh, last one tenth order irrespective of uh, transformer configuration it is allowing at 4.16 as well as 11 kV similarly you can cross check the transformer winding impact on this harmonic analysis by making various configuration i hope this video helps you to understand the impact of transformer winding configuration on harmonic analysis i'll come up with uh, some new idea in the next video till then bye bye